Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our 2021 Virtual Employee Recognition Ceremony. My name is Maria Dornoitz, and I'm your Chief Human Resources Officer and your Mistress of Ceremony for today. While I wish we could celebrate together, this virtual event is the next best thing because it honors you, our valued employees. Today, we will be celebrating outstanding individual and group achievements for 2021. We take this time to honor and recognize the commitment that you have demonstrated throughout this year. It matters not the position that you hold. Your contributions are appreciated and key to the success of Lutheran Social Services of Southern California. And for that, we are grateful. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you very much for tuning in to help us celebrate you. Enjoy. Please enjoy these 2021 shared moments and hidden heroes. Next, we would like to recognize our employees that achieved 20 and 25 years of service with Lutheran Social Services of Southern California. Maria Gomez, 25 years. Maria is a great employee, a huge asset to our center and is so deserving of this award and recognition. Her work ethic, her passion for making a difference in our participants' lives, and her dedication to our center are just a few of the things that make her stand out. She is a valuable member of our team, my right hand, and despite of overwhelming amount of work that she has to do, Maria consistently finds time to help her fellow coworkers. Maria's commitment in providing great service to our participants and their family is unequaled. I am so honored to work alongside of her. Maria, 
Thank you for your extraordinary service, inspiring leadership, and your service that always benefits our participants at Lutheran Social Services. Congratulations on 25 years. Thank you for dedicating 25 amazing years of work to LSSSC Pasadena. Congratulations, Maria. Eileen Hofer, 20 years of service. Eileen is deeply committed to the mission, vision, and values of LSS, as evidenced by her longevity, adaptability, and openness to change along the way. She is tenacious in her desire to see SBC rural staff provide much needed services to clients, advocating for viable contracts, and partnering with our finance team to diversify contract offerings, services that promote wellness for children, youth, and families in the area. Eileen enjoys learning and will develop a standard operating procedure for any identified gaps in a process. She is a collaborative in her leadership approach and shares innovative ideas and new materials and SOPs freely with other team members and departments. Congratulations, Eileen, on 20 years of service with LSS. Ciao, well done, At this time, I would like to recognize our employees that participated and successfully completed the Cal State Bulletin's Leadership Development for Public Agencies program. Congratulations to Alfreda, Felix, Jessica, and Ryan. Well done, well done. The first award is extremely special, and it's special because it offers an opportunity for employees to recognize their colleagues' hard work and dedication to furthering the mission and success of LSS, whether it's through accomplishing tasks, impacting the communities that we serve, or just brightening our day-to-day. -day. These employees are being recognized by their fellow co-workers for being a beacon of light and making a difference. Without further ado, these are the nominations for the Peer-to-Peer -peer Award. And the nominees are Mark Coates, Eileen Hofer, Allison Mendez, Teresa Thompson, Kirsten Tiong, Karen Wong, Claire Sekovitz, Christina Harris, Susan Clark, Crystal Ship, Jane. Abraham Montero, Christina Kane, Mate Mario, Jim Pilo, Nicholas Shepherd, Armin Kim, Brittany Campbell, and Jamie Conklin. And the winner is everyone. Take a moment to read the nominations and congratulations to the recipients on a job well done. Keep up the great work.
The next set of awards were nominated by various members of the management team here at LSS, such as the senior directors, area directors, and senior leadership. The next award is the Excellence and Accountability Award. And the criteria for this award is employees who accept responsibilities and perform duties above and beyond what is normally expected. Above and beyond refers to a level of performance or contribution that registers with everyone involved as a wow moment. This employee, one, exhibits a high degree of professionalism, two, positive influence on the work group, three, presents in a client-facing manner, and four, promotes a positive morale and supportive attitude. And the Excellence and Accountability Award goes to Christina Deaton and Monte Murillo. And I'd like to read a portion of their nomination. Christina consistently goes above and beyond. She carries a caseload, volunteers to assist with client assessments, and volunteers to be on call for the Family Urgent Response System crisis calls during the week of Christmas due to low staffing. She meets with the Big Bear Rep and Success First teams weekly to obtain information and provide clinical guidance. Christina creates and facilitates trainings for all SBC rural staff members and facilitates a weekly clinical consultation group. Due to employee requests for additional training, Christina researched and shared information specific to trauma-informed care and client de-escalation interventions with the clinical area director and senior director. We are extremely blessed to have her as a part of our team. Thank you, Christina, for all that you do. Congratulations, Christina. Well deserved. Well deserved. And Mate. Mate has always exhibited a very high degree of professionalism. She works well with her clients and collaborates well with leadership her peers, and the student intern. All my interactions with Monte have been very positive experiences. Monte is always responsive to my request for information. She asks good questions when needed. She knows when and how to ask for support when needed. She works well with her team and OC. She always demonstrates respectful communication and accountability. When Jim was on vacation, and I needed to participate in calls with the city, she provided me with the needed information to be ready for the call. The interns often work with Monte as she is a very positive role model and demonstrates excellent case management services, exhibiting the values of LSS. Monte has a good sense of humor. She's a good listener and a supporter of other staff. She effectively uses supervision with Jim to explore ways to improve care for her clients. Great work, Mate. Thank you for all that you do. Job well done. The next award is the Superior Accomplishment Award. And the criteria for this award is for performance resulting in an exceptional contribution to LSS, uh, an important contribution to fundraising and or development. This recipient has had to overcome difficulties in completing a major task within a short period of time that has had substantial benefits to the organization. And the Superior Accomplishment Award goes to Philip Olinger. And I'll read a portion of his nomination. Staff in our organization reach out to our IT department for any technical issue they have. People often look at IT and think that their work entails audio and visual, software development, maintenance, and data and cabling. Each of the aforementioned are specialized fields that our IT director, Philip, must navigate every day. Although his expertise is in computer software networks, he has broadened his skill set to meet the evolving needs of LSS. Philip meets every challenge with a positive attitude. 
Over the past year, he has spearheaded several projects that yield significant cost savings for the organization and ensured operational efficiency. Our IT department is small but mighty. Under Philip's leadership, a lot has, has, has accomplished. Philip smoothly transitioned staff to a remote work environment due to COVID. He rewired and cleaned up all the data lines at CCLM. Cost savings to the organization is roughly $35,000. Philip spearheaded a cell phone project. Cost savings to the organization is roughly $39,000. And he is in the process of negotiating better internet service and cost at each site. Congratulations to you, Philip, on a job well done. Keep up the great work. The next award is the Servant Leadership Award. And the criteria for this award is the employee has demonstrated active and excellent leadership to LSS. They exhibit the highest level of ethical practices and has demonstrated a passionate commitment to furthering the values and mission of LSS. And the winner of the Servant Leadership Award is Wendy Rubio. Wendy has always demonstrated the highest level of ethical practices. She has been the program manager for three donation funded programs and one contracted program. In all of them, she demonstrates consistently high standards of ethical practices. She actively works with the city of Long Beach to ensure that our HMIS data is accurate. She ensures that her volunteers follow COVID protocols and ensures proper safety practices for all of her staff and volunteers. Wendy has worked for nearly 10 years at the Long Beach site. She has a great relationship with the churches, their volunteers, and donors. She is always enthusiastic and excited to share with them the great work being done to support the needs of the vulnerable through the Long Beach site. She actively demonstrates all of her LSS values most importantly, compassion and respect. Wendy's programs are the core of LSS. They support the most basic needs. She understands that these services are the foundation of support for individuals and families that are vulnerable in the community. She actively works with other programs at the Long Beach site to ensure that their clients have food, clothing, and education programs to support their efforts to become more self-sustaining. Wendy is a great collaborator. Wendy demonstrates accountability on a basis on a daily basis. I always trust that she represents LSS well in the community in an honest and forthright manner. She always seeks to do what is right and fulfill the work of LSS in an ethical manner. The staff, clients, volunteers and church members all have expressed their appreciation for what, what Wendy does to support the work and mission of LSS. Wonderful job, Wendy. Well done and congratulations. And the final award for today is the President Select Award. The President Select Award recognizes staff members whose performance exceeds customary standards or who exhibit outstanding skills and dedication to special projects on behalf of LSS. It is presented annually to recognize outstanding job performance during the preceding calendar year in four categories. Those categories are commitment to excellence, excellence in innovation, excellence in customer service, and dedication to our mission. And the winner of the President's Select Award is Gabriella Bernal. And I will read her nomination. Gabby has been overseeing the talent search and upper bound programs for about 10 years. She has demonstrated a commitment to excellence by exceeding the program goals each year with 100% of students graduating from high school through their program. She also demonstrates excellence and in innovation as she has had to adapt to a virtual model of mentoring and tutoring during the last two years. 
They have successfully continued to meet the program goals. Gabby demonstrates excellence in customer service as demonstrated by her strong, positive relationships she has with the schools she's worked with. She also supports the food pantry operations by volunteering her time and the time of her staff for the drive through food distribution. Gabby has also volunteered to present to the area directors about her programs to help them explore if her programs might be a good fit in their area. Gabby has demonstrated her commitment to the company mission. She has demonstrated how the talent search and upper bound programs fit well with the LSS mission in helping families to get out of the cycle of generational poverty. Gabby is very deserving of the President's Award. She embodies all of the qualities that make a great employee and director. She has proven to be invaluable in her ability to build, manage, sustain, and grow her educational programs. She is a hands-on leader and leads by example. I have witnessed her leadership in action and have heard nothing but good things about her from her team. Commitment to excellence. Gabby runs a solid program that exceed contractual obligations. She is a data-driven and committed to ensuring positive outcomes for all of her students. She invests in her team and holds them to a high level of accountability. Excellence and innovation. Many organizations found it difficult to keep their youth involved in remote programming during the height of COVID. Gabby and her team found creative ways to engage their youth whether it was mailing them home art kits or for a virtual art class or enrolling the youth in remote coding classes. She offers something for everyone. Excellence in customer service. I met the pastor of St. Mark's Lutheran Church where Gabby's admin office is. The pastor spoke very highly of Gabby and her professionalism. Her ability to run programs, manage the church partnership. Dedicated to our mission. Gabby believes that in order for a child to succeed, they need to be embraced, equipped, and empowered. As a first-generation college graduate, Gabby knows the type of support that is needed to move the needle from high school dropout to college graduate. Her program outcome speaks volumes to her dedication and commitment to the youth she serves. Outstanding Gabby. Congratulations, well-deserved. Congratulations to all of our 2021 award recipients and thank you to the entire LSS family. We appreciate you and we value you and I pray that you have a very happy and safe holiday season. Cheers to a blessed and prosperous 2022.